Our cameras spotted this early this morning. Park rangers clearing people off of the sidewalk. And this, piles of trash littered all over the sidewalks. Mountains of trash are what some people in the Tenderloin have learned to live with day in and day out. And there is a team of people who pick all of it up and haul it off, only to come back again, sometimes only hours later, to another giant mess. Our Wilson Walker hit the streets with them. Yeah, at times you feel like our efforts are for none, right? Because we'll go through right through a block and they'll turn around and just dump it right back out on us. And it almost just seems like it's, it's an effort, thankless and effortless job, right? Because, I mean, look at it. Daybreak in the Tenderloin and John Mello's job doesn't so much get underway as it picks up where it left off. The trash is all over the place. It's enormous. Mello is operations manager for the Tenderloin Community Benefit District, just one of the groups mobilized against this neighborhood's trash. We do pressure washing, we do graffiti removal, we do trash pickups, we do you know loose garbage debris, pan and broom. Two blocks of Ellis, Ellis and Leavenworth. On another corner, San Francisco Public Works crews are starting their day. You have uh, animals and pets and pedestrians and all that. Al Mattis, city native, is among those who get up every morning and by hand take on a wave of trash so relentless it can overwhelm city storm drains. Especially during rainy season, all this debris can then go ahead and flow down to the catch basins. So how much trash? Well, over the week of September 22nd, city crews collected more than 36,000 pounds of it in the Tenderloin. That's more than 18 tons. And that's only what public works crews hauled away. It doesn't even include what was picked up by the CBD or Urban Alchemy. And it's just one average week. The trash never stops. Absolutely. Continuous. So we try to collaboratively work with everybody we possibly can because it's a group effort to keep this place clean. It's not easy. Not one agency, you know, not 10. The garbage is just way too much. Everyone that eats something, the first thing they do is throw it on the floor. Every single day, uh, they have a mess over here. On any given block, you can find residents putting up their own fight, and the city says it's trying to stop some of the trash inflow with outreach to those who may be piling on the problem without knowing it. Residents who live in single-room occupancy hotels where there might not be sufficient garbage service for them, some of the people try to do the right thing by putting their garbage in bags, tying it up, putting it out by a public can, hoping it gets picked up. But what happens then is that people will come through at night or sometime during the day, open the bags, spread all the garbage everywhere. It's the beginning of what we hope will be a long range project and get away from dirt and litter and debris. Tenderloin residents there kicking off an anti-litter campaign in 1984, the trash is a generation spanning problem here, just like the larger issues facing this neighborhood. All of these things do cross paths and for the people that are trying to keep the sidewalks clean, they are right in the middle of all of it. There's somebody sleeping over there, so we're not gonna go disturb them and just move them. Some public works crews are tied directly to encampment resolution teams. That involves things like determining the legal number of bicycles someone can have on a sidewalk and making sure batteries and other kinds of hazardous waste do not go out with the trash. But every cleaning crew works around similar issues, in this case, someone claiming what looks like trash as their belongings. But there's nothing we can do. We're going to respect her wishes. And she said that's hers, so we cannot clean it up. It is very complicated, right? It is very complicated. It's, it's, it's just what the tenderloin is right now. And hopefully we can, we, we're, hopefully we're all here together to make it better. Being brought up here in the city and everything, for me, it's just not work. It's a little bit more personal than that. So um, I go about my day and just go home and feel like I put in a good day's work and uh, keeps me satisfied and keeps me going. If you ever walk through the Tenderloin, you have seen them out here doing the very dirty work, and we would not even want to show you everything they clean up out here. Imagine what things would look like if they weren't doing it, out cleaning up sidewalks that will very likely be covered again, maybe within hours. The workers who keep picking away at the trash that never stops.